What's good with my fellow backyard against, bruh? Today we going over 2022 Hangtown Track Showcase, bruh. And as you can see, we is on a Jason Anderson bike setup, you know what I'm saying? Putting on for the hood. My boy got his first overall win this, this moto. And yeah, bruh, like, Jason Anderson, like, he, he he don't really get a lot of a shine, bro. So I, I guess that was good for him, bro, uh, to get that first little win. I know that had to feel good. Um, to me, Jason Anderson is not really even a, a person, bro. He's just somebody that's there. Like, he's just like a, a AI player. Like, you know when you're playing a game? Like, every time I watch a race, Jason Anderson is like an AI player to me, bro. Like, I don't pay him no mind, bro. Like, uh like so, I now that he got his first little W, like I'm, I'm happy for, <laughs> for him, cause his whole life it seemed like, in my head, since he's been on on the big bikes, his whole time being on the big bikes, that boy been like an AI to me, bro. But yeah, um, Jason Anderson, I, nah, I'm not saying he bad or nothing. It just seems like he's not really, he makes podiums consistently. He's just like he's not really a factor to me, bro. Watching these races, but um, yeah, 2022 Hangtown, bro. This track is lit, bro. This got to be like my, my second favorite Lucas Oil track on this MX vs. ATV game, bro. Uh, right behind Red Bud. Red Bud is my favorite track on the game, bro. Like, Red Bud is lit for sure. But this track is definitely lit, too. That jump right there. This first lap might be a little iffy, bro. I'm not going to lie because this was my first time racing on this track. Like, this, I'm cold. I didn't get to warm up or nothing. So, this first little lap time is going to be iffy, but... Better yet, it's still gonna be probably better than all your favorite YouTubers' lap times because it seemed like I'm the only YouTuber that posts decent lap times, bro. Like every time, like I literally post quality lap times compared to like all the other YouTubers. It seemed like they just get on the track, ride around, and just post it. You know what I'm saying? Like they don't give you no, they don't show you no lines and no nothing, bro. They just post their lap times. But yeah, man. I wanted to go to this motocross race so bad, bro. This is only like an hour and a half away from my house. And, yeah, bro, I wanted to go see them boys race, but couldn't make it out there, bro. You know what I'm saying? My boy Eli Tomac got the got the W for the second moto. Right, oh, my gosh, with my boy Chase Sexton right on his behind, bro. I was so mad he didn't catch him, bro. I thought Chase Sexton was going to catch Eli Tomac on that last lap but he messed up on like a few turns or something and i was so mad because as you know i want my boy chase sexton to win bro but yeah bro hold on this is one this is one jump bro i want to show y'all boys this is my favorite jump on this whole track right here it's coming up oh no never mind it's a few turns ahead but yeah bro chase sexton was on that boy eli tomac behind bro and i ain't gonna lie it had me at the edge of my seat bro my fellow backyard against as you can see i am putting on for the hood on this second lap you know what i'm saying like look at me i'm i i catch on quick to be honest this is like my fourth time running around this track as you can see i'm way better than that first lap but yeah this is the jump i was talking about right here bro you know what i'm saying i love that jump right there that's my favorite jump that's my favorite part of the whole track bro but yeah, bro, this Jason Anderson on Hangtown 2022. Um, like and subscribe, bro. Let me know if y'all want to see some Supercross track showcases. And uh, yeah, bro, I'm out of here, bro. Peace.